My name is John Marine, and you're watching John Marine Tube, my YouTube channel. And I'm coming to you from my hometown of Houston, Texas, USA, where it's miserably hot. Now, a few things I want to get off my chest before I begin with this video. The most common things that I've gotten, as far as comments are concerned, is why are my lips so big and why do I talk like a robot? Well, this is my actual speaking voice. And God gave me this. So basically, this is just who I am. Take it or leave it. Love my channel or loathe my channel. Now on to more important matters. Why should you care about the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb? The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb has been around since 1916. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb also known as the Race to the Clouds, is one of the greatest racing events in the United States. It is a combination of pavement and gravel, as you have over 12.42 miles, or 19.99 kilometers, of pavement and gravel goodness. You start off at 90,390 feet and go all the way up to 14,110 feet. You have such corners such as the Brown Bush Corner, Engineer's Corner, Gilly's Corner, Devil's Playground, Bottomless Pit, and Cod Cut. And essentially it's like two different races, because when you start on the ground, you have to deal with some of the weather conditions on the, on the ground level. But when you go through the clouds, it's a different kind of race, because it's much cooler up there. And you probably have to imagine that if you have a, a turbocharged engine, you might be able to have your turbo work a little better. There's a variety of different classes for this race. A variety of different classes including so, somewhat sprint cars, buggy cars, rally cars, the unlimited class which I love the most. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And all kinds of trucks, motorcycles, and ATVs. Simply put, this is a fantastic race and a true challenge of man and machine, or woman and machine. Though the common nomenclature is man and machine. But let's not forget that there's women out there that can race too. The most memorable moments for me are all basically exclusive to the unlimited class. Because I can remember seeing the, uh, seeing pictures, rather, of the Toyota Celica GT4 that raced in 1998 up Pikes Peak. I can remember the, the, the awesome Suzuki uh, Grand Vitara Pike Peak or Escudo Pike's Peak as that as that wild thing raced up the mountain. But the wildest of all besides the Suzuki Escudo Pike's Peak, the Toyota Tacoma Pike's Peak by Rod Mellon. And Rod Mellon has tried his absolute best to try to climb the mountain by breaking the 10 minute barrier. So far, I don't think anyone has even got a pike speak in under 10 minutes. Maybe at 10 minutes, but never past, but, but never... Okay, let's just say no one got up there at about 9.57. So if you get a chance to watch this race on TV or see highlights or something, check it out. I'm sure you'll love it. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is easily one of the biggest races of the year. Not just for off-road types, but for all motorsports enthusiasts. Victory up that mountain is like the ascension from going from hell to heaven. And in order to reach heaven, you gotta go through hell. And to reach heaven of Pikes Peak, you gotta go through the hell of Pikes Peak. So good luck and climb your way up there. This, this year's race is on, is on July 19th. And I included more information in the, in the, in the sidebar. So be sure to check that out, subscribe to my channel, comment my videos, rate my videos, but don't hate. If you're a fan of my material, please consider yourself a fan by joining my MySpace and or Facebook accounts and declare yourself a fan. My name is John Marine. Please take care and have an amazing day. And for all of my Americans, I hope you've had an amazing Independence Day. Take care and may God bless all of you. I'm not going to do peace this time because for some cultures, when I do this, it's kind of like doing... Uh, the middle finger. So I'm just going to say love and peace. Take care.